Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay. We're looking at the life of Apollos today. It's good to see you. Let's pray. Lord, we ask for your forgiveness now and your cleansing and your mercy and your grace. And Lord, we acknowledge our foolish ways. And Lord, we just pray as we look at your word now, we confess all our failure and sin. We just pray that you fill us with your Holy Spirit and bless us now, Lord, each one. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. If you turn to Acts chapter 18, Acts chapter 18, Acts chapter 18, 24, we read these words, And a certain Jew named Apollos, born at Alexandria, an eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures, came to Ephesus. The man was instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of John. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, whom, when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them, and expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. And when he was disposed to pass into Achaia, the brethren wrought, exhorting the disciples to receive him, whom he was come help them through. Uh, much which had believed through grace for he mightily convinced the Jews and that publicly showing by the scripture that Jesus was the Christ Apollos was a man who meant business with God he was a man on fire for God H.A. Ironside says no one who really wants to count for God can afford to play at Christianity the Apollos was not playing at Christianity C.H. Spurgeon says, Every day seek to lose yourself more in Christ, to live more completely in Him, by Him, and for Him. Are you dedicated to Christ today? Do you want to live for Christ today? Then let's be on fire for Him today.